In this video, I chat to the main man in drum and bass, Andy C, at the DJ Awards, and we chat about track selection. I ask him all his tips on the difference between choosing records for festivals, um, club shows, giant arena shows, um, which he's just he's just sold at Wembley Arena in minutes. Uh, so here's the man that's going to give you the tips and advice today. I'm not going to keep going because I think it's stupid. See, good How evening. You, I'm good, man. Yeah, I'm good. I've just literally jumped off the plane and uh, arrived at the hotel, and uh, everything's in full swing, isn't it? <laughs> yes, Buzzing. Sure. You're sweating. I am. I'm going to start sweating in a minute. I'm and, slide uh, yeah, yet. everything's. Uh, no, I'm working my way up to that. Actually, <laughs> I've got I've got my baguette and uh, my trusty baguette from the UK, just in case you don't get to eat. Yeah. Um, and we'll have a couple of drinks and soak up the vibes. Uh, so you've been awarded, uh, nominated for the uh, Bass Awards. I have. Yes. How do you feel about it? I feel I feel buzzing about it to be honest with you. It's a it's a beautiful thing, isn't it? I mean, because you know, I beat the full of so many different genres, and it's so known for a certain sound oh, of electronic. Yeah. yeah. So. You know, just to be here, been coming here for quite a few years now, you know, and we've got to a place where here we are having a chat about being nominated for an award. <laughs> it's pretty mad and it's a, it's a wonderful thing, so I feel very honoured to be here. Great. Yeah, I mean, I'm so I'm really pleased for you, like, you know, I'm obviously you know I'm a big fan and, yeah, really pleased that Drum and Bass is here on the island, fine, you know, and, Thanks, and it has its place now on the island. Yes, know? it does indeed. It absolutely does. I mean, it's... Uh, We've been, like I say, we've been coming for a good few years now, and every time you fly out here, there are people specifically on the planes. Um, hold on a minute, that is, well, can we just get that in shot? Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> there we go. That's just a fruit juice to get me on. Yeah, that. <laughs> I know. It's all right. I'll get that out. Come here, buddy. You'll be all right. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, no, it's, it's a really cool thing, you know. Drum and bass is over here regularly, smashing up the crowds. You know, people coming from all over the world. For example, tonight, uh, there's I know that a couple have flown in from the Maldives who live in the Maldives, wow. just to come and hear us play. Wow, which is far out, that's right? Incredible. It's beautiful, isn't that's it? That's amazing. Isn't that yeah. wonderful? That's incredible. Yeah. So incredible. we reach far and wide. Yeah, that's amazing. That is incredible. Wow. Cheers. Um, cool, so uh, you're joining me on a big question series, basically it's a series we set up at the beginning of the year to give poor advice from older heads and right. industry figures. To well, where's the old person around here? Yeah, not with me, <laughs> uh, probably. Uh, and, you know, give advice to younger DJs, basically. Yeah. So your big question, Yeah. Uh, how do you prepare for, you know, how do you prepare your track selection for, you know, the difference between festival sets, club sets, gigs in pubs? Massive sellout arena shows that are doing two minutes, you know, those kind of Wembley shows. That, what, you know, how I do know you it is. Uh, I don't. I don't prepare to set. I think. I think as a DJ, you have an idea of what's going to work in an environment. Otherwise, you wouldn't have been booked in the first place. Yes. I do remember some scary scenarios at festivals when I when I first started getting booked because I was so used to playing in clubs yep. that playing at a festival was like, oh my god, what you know, there's infinitely more people. Yeah. And it might be daylight, yeah. so that brings in a whole different yeah, feel. Um, and and over the years, what I've learned is, to be honest with you, and this is a broad broad stroke of a statement, <laughs> people generally love to have it, no matter where they are. Do you know what I mean? And that might sound like a cop out answer, <laughs> but I tend to think the times when you overthink it, I'm here, I've got to play this. Right or I'm there and I don't get me wrong if I'm playing a dingy if I'm doing the XOY residency yeah. and I heard they were well prepared they, they, they were I well really prepared. really did I played I played a different set every week for 13 weeks incredible we, I, I've never I, it was like it was intense but it was a beautiful thing as well because I got to know my records like I heard you were practicing lots in the I week it really was and it brought back some wonderful memories so don't get me wrong when there's something specific and you know people are coming yeah. then you've got to be there but I, I've learned to feel transferring out onto the festival environment yeah you can get away with a lot more than what I felt back right, in the okay. day if you're playing between a couple of 
shall we say, other genre, very commercially yeah. viable acts yeah. at five o'clock in the afternoon yeah. in front of 20,000 people. Yeah, you can go a bit bigger. You got to go a bit bigger. Right. I mean, but, but it's in my nature. I mean, I want to entertain and yeah, make of course, people dance. So of the, the selection is there because it's in the laptop. The selection is yeah. there. It's just about you got to go with it. You got to read the crowd. You yeah. got to go with the crowd. And I always start off with little pockets. On a serious note, yeah, yeah, yeah. I always start off with little pockets in the crowd. Maybe people that I know right. that are at the front barrier. For example, SW4. Yeah. There are a couple of people at the front barrier on my left and on my right. And I know, I know they, I know what they like. Yeah. Okay. I've seen them at fifties before. Right. And I'm like, right. Okay. I'm going to make you buzz out. And then I will spot someone halfway down, and I'm like. And then let's get let's let's play music for you guys yeah. amongst some other biggies, and yeah. let's create the vibe and the ripple Perfect. effect will hopefully. Because if they're having a party, then the people around yeah. will start having a party. And then Listen, and you and I know when it comes down to dirty, dirt, dirty dingy clubs, <laughs> we know what kind of beats we want to be hearing. So that's that's how we roll it out. Amazing. Hello. Thank you, NC. I'm being. You're being summoned away. I am. Thank you very much. That's great value. Have a great drink. Cool, and man. We'll, Thanks uh, a lot. We'll see you later Thanks for your time. Uh, Thanks for joining us on the big question today. It's been good fun. Um, uh, if you've enjoyed it, please drop me a comment. Big question in the comments below. Um, I'd love to see how many people have enjoyed this video uh, and found value from it. If you have found value from it, please, please share it with all your friends and your DJ friends. Um, I'd love it to grow. I'd love this community to grow. And um, if you have enjoyed this video, please smash the bell on YouTube. Give us a like, share, comment. It really, it really helps me understand what you enjoy and what you don't enjoy and if you if you need a subject tackling please put that in the comments i'd love to uh, get some of your ideas and what you want and what you need uh thanks again again for joining me i'm a great farmer i run date transmission i'll see you soon bye